Hi, so I'll let you know how you can have the Touch OS C, which is um, available for uh, iPhone, iPod, I iOS devices on your Android device. The problem with Android devices was that the layout wasn't able exactly being able to be edited while it was being when it was possible with um the ios devices so first of all touch os c is available um hmm, I'm, ah the usb cable let me just plug it into the another slot and we should yeah there we go so um it's available in the play store just install and and uh, basically it uses the OSC protocol and the basic simple apps with uh, simple faders and all done okay so the, uh, these are some uh, uh, simple faders and sliders which you can have there are buttons and etc so the problem is you can't customize this thing top over here is when you do something it goes green showing uh, and sending some data to the server listing what we configured and there are various uh, UIs available uh, UI elements so anyways um, so basically we want to have this layout customized I'm using Windows 8 so this will I mean this thing can easily work on Windows 7 or lower or whatever you're using so there are a few things that we require for the uh, first the one the first is the apk this is the original apk i have extracted from the play store this is the version 1.3 i'll provide you in the description with the links to all these files over here and uh, the next one is an apk tool which is another to compile the apk again and uh, after that and you just have to copy paste all these three files into your C Windows folder, and you can, and that's it. And then and we'll use it with the Studio to recompile. And that's just so that can directly go into, I and mean, without doing anything into the path and all. Basically, the APK tool, the second icon that you see, is just a bat file that creates an abstraction for the jar file. The next is the lay the next is the layout encoder basically it encodes our generated layout file from osc editor and to base 64 which can be put into our apk and the final one is the virtuous 10 studio and what it does it's uh, it i mean you can decompile and recompile apks i mean uh, other applications can vary but that's what we are using it over here so let's go ahead and use the touch os editor which is available on the website itself if you go down below uh, there is over here for 3264 version whatever you're using uh, okay so that's what i'm using 64 version so okay so this OSC editor is i mean you just have this is the layout the screen this is the iphone ipod touch layout it's a vertical layout and right click and you have labels and all other things labels are not available so we'll be using button over here so just i add a push button and then i'll add another fader horizontal Put it over there change the color to let's say blue and center just to cross fade between two anything channels well um, um let's go ahead and add another element to this um let's add a rotary yeah wheel let's yeah rotary wheel. center it again over here and that's it and let's go ahead arrange this a little bit and save them so just hit save as on my doc i'm just saving it in touch os folder just remember the location we are saying and we save it as layout and if we go back to the folder over here 
and we can see um, I'll show you how it's composed I'll just copy paste it and rename it as a dot zip I'll just add the extension dot zip yes uh, open I'll just extract it over here and as you can see there's one index file over here this is uh, basically an just an XML file and this XML uh, where all the layout and everything is stored and configured so yeah if you go back over here onto the 10 studio new project apk studio let's add dosc dash osc and apk tool that's why we copy pasted it over there uh, the setup for this is just like next 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 install next is small i i'm using jelly bean 4.2 so i'm selecting that over here now you can select whatever is running on your device the rest is not to be bothered about an apk project okay and then we'll right click and import file and just browse to the apk mm, that i extracted touch osc files yeah that's the apk open and import damn it yeah uh import so yeah it's decompiling the apk right now so this is the xml file um, let's see if i can zoom this thing um, um where is this room um, no can't really try this um, control plus yeah that's what so this is basically just an xml file where you have the layout node over here horizontal the first tab it's the only tab that we had it's control name some random value width height width color red the, and there's another one blue the type is push you can see the push button this is the horizontal fader and this is an rotary v the vertical rotary wheel whatever this is just a simple xml file which is put inside a zip okay so I've decompile this and uh, these are the bunch of files that are there you don't have to deal any with them just go to small i net hexler touch osc and the file that we are interested in is the small layout dot small i file double click on that and it will open it up in the editor so Hi, yeah so over here the thing that we're interested in is this huge chunk of red text this is just a string this is actually the uh, zip file encoded in six base 64 so i'll just go ahead this is the default layout that's available in the application so we're going to edit that that's the simple layout if you go into the menu so i'll select that and delete okay time to put our layout over here the bottom part these are the other layouts that are available in the application but then again we are just sending the first one so over here then are we have a touch osc file over here so we go to files layout encoder this will basically just encode our touch osc file into base 64 which we can post it, paste it in that area over there okay so we go to browse layout file layout dot touch osc layout index is zero and encode okay so yeah out the output is generated over here just copy and paste it over here okay that's it now uh, the file is small and just one layout so that's why it's there and we compile it so it's building the apk recompiling apk for us um we'll have to go ahead and uh, uninstall the apk because this is again won't will be an unsigned apk hence we'll have to remove it so let's go to osl track and uninstall this thing because we'll be overwriting it with our own custom one okay it's uninstalling install finished good good and okay let me see start the usb debugging so i can copy paste the apk over here 
okay we have compiled our apk the compilation is completed so let's go back to documents that's where the virtual stand studio output would be there projects tosc tosc let's go to binary and there's our apk so copy that and put it and put in the sd card i tried it once before makes to and uh, just to make sure that everything was working so just paste overwrite and that's it so let's go ahead and install this on our device this is a live preview of the device by the way so total commander mm, yeah i'm at root storage storage one uh -huh. strange mm. oh yeah i need to turn off the usb yeah mass storage okay and turn off usb storage okay there and okay let's go back to the commander sd card one and scroll down okay yeah so we have a touch osc apk this above one is the original apk that i was able to extract and install there's a bottom button over there the screen's a little bit bigger so just install app install and let's hit open and let's hope this thing works the second time too okay done and yes we have our layout working the slider is working you can see the green dot flashing on the top corner to indicate that the data is being sent so probably this is quite i mean this isn't much of an hectic you can have designed the layout over here and then just uh, put it through the layout encoder and then put it into the layout dot small i file I'll be putting all the files that I used uh, in the description I'll put it in a zip file so that you can download them and use it uh, I'll put these to apk tool and the layout encoder I cannot put the virtue so tends to because again it's a proprietary software so I'll put in the link where you can download it it's um, it's a setup for that it's just next 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 and finish ASM is just the screen monitor that I used so that I can simultaneously show what's going on and also provide this APK with it. Touch OAC editor, of course, you can download from the website.